What's up everybody? It's your boy Wes Grant. You're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I get my nerd views on today's nerd news. I also give reviews on movies and today's movie we're giving a review on is dun, 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 Creed 2. And yeah, I'm going to start off by saying I did like this movie Creed 2. This Creed 2, because if you guys didn't see the, uh, the first one uh, with... Uh, you know, Michael B. Jordan becoming uh, Apollo Creed, or he is Apollo Creed's son, and he, it's his journey on his way to become the champion, or yeah, to try to become the champion, and if, you know, I'm not going to spoil it if he did it or not, but this second place, this second movie takes place right after that, where he goes and fights and becomes champion, then right as soon as he becomes champion, who shows up? But Ivan Drago's son, Victor Drago, and uh, challenges uh, Creed to the championship because they were just waiting for their moment and then they have their fight and then i'm not going to spoil anything but they have two fights in this movie first off the casting if you guys don't know you got michael b jordan is creed you've got um you got sylvester stallone is rocky of course you got tessa thompson is his girlfriend you've got ivan drago or you know dolph Lundgren. and then you've got Flo uh, florine like florine montanu Montunu, I believe that's the way he pronounced his name. It's hard to say, but he's gonna be the antagonist. So the big guy is gonna be fighting him, sort of like Rocky versus Va Drago, pretty much a small guy versus a bigger guy, and that's what it is. This movie did a great job. Stephen Cop uh, Coppola, even though the first movie was done by Ryan Coogler, and which did an awesome job in showing you the fight and the energy and this emotion, this movie did, I believe pretty much just as good not as I didn't feel as as much emotions but there was definitely a hell of a lot of emotions in this movie uh, Michael B Jordan pretty much stole the show in the first movie I had to give it to Stallone Stallone's acting like he got not that's why he got nominated for uh, as a uh, best supporting actor for the Oscars because he really brought it and in this one Adonis or Michael B Jordan he brought his A game and if you guys don't know Michael B Jordan's been in this game for a while you know what I'm saying I first noticed as soon as I saw him my first you know, introduction to him was uh, um was uh, Chronicles, I believe, where he had this, where the superpowers, and I saw him, and I'm like, yo, this kid has so much charisma. I think he's gonna be a whole lot more. Just even, even though he wasn't in for the whole movie, just his charisma, I was like, yo, he's gonna be making it. And then that's what, yo, Roosevelt Station, he's gone on to do so many great things. He's he's in the he's in Marvel, you know what I'm saying? He's uh, Killmonger, he's Creed, he's making so much. He's gonna be Simba for God's sake, and and Lion King. So. This guy is gonna be here, and he got yo. You think he? That's why I'm rock, rocking my like my little swole little shirt because yo, he got big for Creed. He got bigger for Killmonger, and he got even bigger for Creed too. Because why? He's fighting the dude Victor Drago, and Victor Drago is a monster. In fact, I don't even think I, I, I'm telling. I, I've talked to people. I don't think this is fair. I don't think they're in the same weight class, bro. If 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 if, if what's the name's in heavy you know, is if is a heavyweight champion. Victor should be the super heavyweight champion. He should not be challenging him. But overall, this movie was great. I love the montages. Uh, montages are what I live for. The Rocky montage when he was going to train to fight Ivan. When he was going up the mountain. And I was expecting the same thing. But they did a little twist. And instead it was in the desert. But I liked what it is. Like the training. And you showed that it paid off in the fight against Victor. When he fought Victor, the intensity, the emotions. I wish they showed a little bit more fighting. Because it was so intense. And those hits. And when Rocky was fighting and took those hits in all his movies. It it, it didn't look like it hurt. He would. Oh, I could, yeah. But except when, yo. When, when, um. When Michael B. Jordan takes a hit, it looks real. It looks like it's hurt. When he gets hit in the ribs and the, you heard that sound, oh my God! And all that just this movie does so much for people. It makes you just believe that there's so much more things out there. That makes you not like the the main reason or the main thing that it teaches you is do not give up. He's fighting for something. He's not just fighting for himself. He's not just fighting for for other people for the for the for the acknowledgement. He's fighting for his family he's fighting to live his own legacy because you know what that's sometimes is one thing that we all forget we don't always want to live in it like you can have all the things in the world you can have the most successful parents but you want to leave your own legacy i want to live a legacy something that people remember me for and that's what i bring away from this movie this movie does such a great job in bringing it down and make you think about What's important to you? So, that's all I have to say. This movie was great. Um, I'm not sure if I would get... I think I might give it a slight edge to the first one. Because it's bringing it back and just how he just brought everything back around with... Uh, um, 
with bringing Creed or the the Rocky because Rocky after Rocky six people thought it was done but somehow he brought it back and Ryan Coogler did a great job and I can't wait to see what happens in the next movie so because there are talks of a sequel in fact Dolph Lundgren is talking about maybe showing the the uh, the spinoff of him because they show you what happened to Ivan Drago after the whole Rocky thing and I loved that I loved seeing that it wasn't easy once he lost he lost everything the the, the mom lost or the, the mom left after she had the kid and Ivan had to raise his son by himself because Russia turned her back on them and and meanwhile you've got Rocky just living it up became becoming an icon becoming someone that everyone loves and you've got Ivan that just just got thrown to the trash, and that's why he trained his son to be so vicious. And the son, you you, I felt a, I felt sympathetic for him. As bad as he is, as, as mean as he seemed, you felt sympathetic for him. Why? Because he was a product of the way he was rose, and 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 the fact that his father like had animosity towards everything. So he trained his kid. He raised his kid, and the love wasn't the love until the all the way at the end of Creed 2 and I love the way it came about so that's pretty much my review um I was trying to make it just you know real quick but I, this is quick enough if I had to give a grade I'm giving it also an A I gave the last one an A if you want to check out the reviews right there but um I gave the last one an A and I definitely think you guys should all watch this movie it's a great movie to see it's a great inspirational movie it will teach you a lot of things and make you realize what things to really take perspective on what's important to you and what do you want to do with your life and if you want to leave a legacy or if you want to just if you're you know okay with just living the life you have with just a happy family and everything so that's my review remember to like remember to uh put those notifications on subscribe check out my last uh um, not unboxing i keep saying unboxing my last review of this uh, of movie review and check out my playlist of movie reviews remember i'm west grant you've been watching sub urban nerd and you've just been notified Catch you